Hi, uh, it's uh, the 5th of January, 2012 again. Not again for the date, again, that I'm talking to you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but one of the things uh, I realize if I have a choice in reading, a lot of what I read is, is science fiction and fantasy. And if I, um, and I'm not talking about the U.S. News or Yahoo or anything like that. That sort of science fiction and fantasy eludes me in its entertainment value and eludes me in its validity. Uh, when I read about elves and dragons and things, and I know that there that there are possibilities of time-space continuums that uh, we can transcend through and move into these different realms, I have a tendency to believe them more. Uh, I think it was the movie was Timeline. I think it was Crichton. Uh, it's one of those guys, but. The, it was a timeline, and they realized that you, there's no, going to be no such thing as a time machine. It's going to be, uh, you have to move into a parallel universe through a time-space continuum, is is how, what it's going to per be perceived as time travel. But it, it's not going to be time travel, because these universes are going on as we, as we are. It's complicated, but that's not what I called you about, or what I want to talk you about. Um, I'm reading the Aragon series, the last one in the Aragon series, and there's a quote in here, and uh, Aragon, the dragon rider, is talking to his dragon, which is dragon can talk. See, I like these things. I believe in Santa Claus too, by the way, so you just relax. Um, and he says, if everyone could see what we have seen, perhaps there would be less fighting in the world. And I think that's profound, because I, I think it's true. I think if if people could have as many experiences as I've had with as many people as I've had and then try to figure out a reason why they would want to really fight with any of those people and or develop a strategy so that they could could find ways not to fight with people but getting out and seeing the world and seeing what happens in the world and meeting people in the world you really kind of find that there's not really any reason to be fighting with anybody you know they're are made up reasons and borders and I was listening to John Lennon's song Imagine, you know, the other day, you know, there were no borders and no religions. It's gonna be hard if you try, but I mean if we can get there, we may have peace. You know, ever all beliefs are lies, I believe that. You know, and if you get caught in a belief, then that's where you're stuck. If you want somebody else to believe what you believe, you're in a little bit of trouble. That's why the work that I do is hard to explain. I don't want anybody to believe what I believe. I want you to look and see what are your beliefs and then be willing to dismiss them because they may not be believable once you really look at them. And again, uh, science fiction uh, L. Ron Hubbard boogie boogie, uh, says that uh, science fiction writers are people who are reincarnating backwards. As good as anything else I've heard. Have a fun 2012 www.micpeakperformance.com